Hello guys. I thought we'd go back to basics. I promised to go back to basics and uh, do something a little bit more technical. But you know, before we get onto the really difficult stuff, um, bread and butter. And in my point of view, bread and butter means jack plug, and the lead, and how this goes onto here. It involves soldering, and I'm not the best solder in the world, to be honest with you. In fact, uh, I can guarantee if you're going to start soldering, you're going to burn yourself. You're probably going to melt the cord that you're uh, trying to solder. You'll probably burn the side in your kitchen or wherever you're doing it. So it is a hazardous thing, especially if you're clumsy like me with my little fat fingers. But you need to know how to do it in an emergency. Um, there's going to be kits that you can buy, little clamps to hold the wires so that everything doesn't move and things like that. It's not really, let's say, if if you use that, that's great. But are you going to be able to use that when you're kneeling down behind your deck in the middle of the evening, trying to solder the lead when you're panicking and sweating? What I'm really just trying to show you is the basics, how to do it. I'm, I'm going to show you burning myself and, you know, I'm not going to try to cover anything up. I'm not, as I said, I'm not the best solder in the world. But uh, I haven't seen any of this basic stuff on the, on YouTube. So, not for the DJs anyway, so uh, anyway, <laughs> let's have a go, and uh, sorry about the t-shirt man, and that bright yellow t-shirt, you know, birthday present, oh, probably watching, sorry, I love it, it's really good quality, um, <laughs> anyway, I'm wearing it I suppose, but uh, yeah, I'm going to show you the kit, so um, bear with me, and uh, we'll see where we go from there. Right, I'm going to focus now on the few things that we may need. Um, obviously the cable that we're going to put the jack plug on. Now I'm not going to go into focus about the actual wiring techniques because it does vary depending on what application, balanced or non-balanced, stereo or non-stereo. All I'm really showing you here is basic two wires onto a mono jack plug and soldering it. Um, and from there we can go on to, to more detailed things in the next videos. Uh, so, anyway, two wire plug, which I haven't stripped yet. I'll show you that stripped in a minute. Uh, I wanted a slightly better quality than the normal uh, jack plug. Um, so, let's see what this baby does. If you take this apart, what I liked about this one, which a lot don't have, is a nice rubber oh, nice rubber end that, that will hold the cable. And inside as you tighten the lid on, this will tighten up around the cable and hold it in place. I'm going to alter the focus so you're going to see my little fat fingers now. Here we go. Okay, so this, nice and simple, like so. And I'm going to use uh, this to point with. Let's see if we can get in the picture. This is one terminal we're going to solder a wire to. And this is the other. I hope you can see that. Basically, there's always going to be in a mono jack plug, there's going to be two terminals, and it's pretty obvious what they are. Ah, that's a much better picture. So that's one terminal, and that's the other one. If you notice, there's little holes there. The idea is you can poke the wire through and secure it before you drop the solder on. But we'll show you that in a moment. So we'll take this away. Let's refocus. Here we go. Soldering iron, just a little kit I bought off of eBay. It cost me about, oh, it was pennies, really. A couple of pounds, few pounds. Uh, they do vary. This isn't a very powerful one. Uh, it doesn't get hot quickly. Um, and actually, I think that's what you want. You don't want anything that's too hot for this sort of wiring because quite often you're soldering something that's a part. Let me see if I can find you something. Ah. Right, this is uh, part of your normal mic lead. This is the, the plug that perhaps you would solder onto. Now if you notice, it's plastic, this one. This is a female LXR, the inner part of the, the socket or the plug, plug in this case. But it's plastic. If you had something too powerful, you'd be soldering on here. There's a good chance you might damage the plastic part of the plug. So, uh, you know, something to bear in mind. You don't always want the most powerful. Well, the window is getting rather warm. So that was that noise. 
Uh, I'd recommend you go and buy now. Look, nine times out of ten, I use a pair of pliers just to pull the wire on my teeth or anything really. But I would recommend some of these uh, wire strippers. An uh, electrician friend of mine gave me these uh, ooh, <laughs> 20 years ago, and look, I've still got them, they're still working great. And I'll show you why they're good. Uh, they're for all different types of wire. Again, I'm going to actually, I'm going to refocus again. Let's get you in a position so you can see. Now, that clamps around the wire, or the whole cable actually, to strip the whole cable off. Now, if you tighten this up, what it does is force the jaws apart and leaves a little hole. Now that hole would be your central cable. So it would cut through the outer, leaving the central part of the wire, a lot of different terminologies here, but you get what I'm meaning. It would leave the inner part of the wire safe and wouldn't cut through it. And then you could pull, it would pull the outer sleeve off, leaving the wire. And uh, here's one I made earlier. No, I'm going to do it in front of you. And uh, Let's see if it works. I normally pull the whole thing off at this point, but uh, right, I need about that much. Look at that, perfect. All right, let's see what we've got there. Can you see that? Just left a little sheaf. I'm going to do the other one. And again, so now what we've got, we've got two clean exposed wires in the cable. Uh, if you notice, it is a three way cable here. There's uh, some braiding, and that would be your third way. Uh, it's almost the earth, really, on this cable, but we're not going to worry about that today. I'm going to pinch these wires together so they're not splayed and turn them, just twist them together. So you've got a nice tight solder, soldable, soldable. I'm making words up now. Soldable uh, item. Now, before we do anything else, this is the thing everybody forgets. They go ahead now and they will solder this to this, forgetting the fact they've got to put the back of the plug on so that when it's complete, they can slide it up. So let's do that before we forget. You'll probably mess up your wires now, so. It's going to take, ah, went on nice and easy. So let's get that out of the way. We don't need that. Again, yeah, I'm going to pinch these together. And away we go. Right, time for a little drink break now. So uh, I'm going to crack open a lager because that really goes well with uh, uh, electrical work, as you can imagine. But I am gasping, so I'll uh, be back in a moment. We've got the cable with the top of the plug on and the two exposed wires. You have to make sure you've got the right length of this. It's not going to stick out the end of the plug once it's all connected. You want it a nice, neat finish at the top of the plug like that. Um, so next will be this. We're going to slide that on. And this looks like it's going to be a bit more hassle. In fact, it will be a little bit more hassle. But, oh, well, not really wasn't bad so that's full that apart so what will happen is as you tighten that up that will force on this I've got a feeling I'm gonna overrun on this video so just for soldering a plug it's gonna be uh, two vids but still it doesn't matter does it I'll attach one to the other uh, okay I'll be quick now uh, we've got this and we've got the final part that that slots in and that will finally attach to. Right, so let's put this down. What I'm going to do first of all is stop the camera, move it even closer. I'm going to try not to burn the camera with the soldering iron and uh, let's do some soldering. Right, now we're even closer now. This is the dangerous bit and this is the bit that's really fiddly and really fiddly to film. So no doubt this will all fall apart. <laughs> 